Hey, welcome to part one of the Denver Union Station project series on the Iron Horse Route. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, welcoming you to my channel in the beginning of my Denver Union Station project series here on the Iron Horse Route. AJ and I, we got on Tinkercad and we looked at a bunch of pictures and we did the best we could to design a 1950s version of Denver Union Station. We built us a platform above the turnaround down in Denver and we got busy on the project. First we printed out the bases and then we started on building three which is this building right here. Alright as I mentioned before here we have all the pieces to building three. Alright uh, building three is the middle building. I'm going to show you a little bit of Tinkercad right now probably still got my voice if I did things correctly and so what you're looking at on the Tinkercad here is you're looking at all five of the bases this is the middle one building three and as I mentioned before we'll also be doing a, a second part of the series we'll be doing two and four together they're very similar buildings I actually the same I'm just mirror images and then uh, part three in the series will be one and five and so what we're going to do now is I'm showing you all the pieces of building three. Here is your base with a hole in it. Here is your base with a hole in it. D. Yep. Got three C. Three A. These are brown because they're interior and I would have painted them black anyway. We've got 3B and 3B. Now, each uh, 3A and C have three of these, three of these, one of these, one of these, and two of these that connect into. I have started pulling pieces off the model to print them separately to make painting easier. And if I can change filament color, I can avoid uh, some painting. I'll get the accessories off. If I don't have the roof or the roof insert here, which is upstairs, I have to go pull it off the printer. So I'm actually going to stop this video because I need the roof insert to help me keep the model square. We're back and this is the square that I was telling you about. Uh, right here. we are going to put the accessories on 3A and 3C first and let them dry and then assemble the model. Now some of these pieces go in quite snugly. For example these guys right here have part names on them. See,
Alright, so here's what building three looks like put together without any of the other pieces. I got the roof set on top there just so you can get the effect. I'm going to put this um, under a daylight and give it a spin with the camera, with a good camera on it so you can get a close look at it. Alright, so Gracie and I want to thank you for watching the beginning of our Union Station project today. This is part one of a three-part series. This was building three. We got part two coming up pretty soon. That's going to be buildings two and four. I got building two printed already, ready to be assembled. Got to print building four and assemble it, and then we'll shoot the video, edit it, and get it out to you. If you enjoyed this video, it is important to me that you leave a comment below and let me know that you were here. I do appreciate you watching today. Today, this is Brian and Gracie with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This has been part one of the Union Station Project. We appreciate you watching.